This is a new Chevy Volt. Now to an environmentalist, it is crack on wheels. It's an extended range electric vehicle, but it's also a symbol of everything that is wrong when the government interferes with free enterprise. The government owns about one third of General Motors and look at how much money they'll give you when you buy a Volt. Come on down to buy a Chevy Volt. The federal government will give you $7,500. State of California will give you $1,500. And with these fancy little carpool lane stickers. So come on down and buy a Chevy Volt today. Open till midnight. Okay, well at least the government doesn't give huge loans and tax credits to any other electric car companies. Fisker and Tesla and Tesla and Fisker. Isn't it crazy that the government gives people $9,000 to buy $100,000 electric sports cars? That's all right, because I'm going to make a whole lot of money on a new engine I invented that can run for an entire week on one serving of guacamole. Guacamole! What? You mean the government's not going to give me some of that sweet, sweet cash? Ugh. How am I going to compete? You're crushing my entrepreneurial spirit and hopes for air happiness. There's a disturbing new idea that's being promoted by a number of U.S. politicians that essentially says, if you started a business and it's successful, don't take too much pride in that, because the federal government provided the stability, the infrastructure, and the education to make your business a success. And that just sucks the pride and happiness out of achieving anything, whether it's starting a business or winning a gold medal. My guacamole mobile guacamole. may never see the light of day because I don't have the right government connections. And when the system isn't fair, entrepreneurs don't seek new opportunities. And then we miss out on all sorts of cool new products and technologies like guacamole. And that's the moral case for free enterprise.